Hello my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to um, your next 72 hours. Okay, normally I do next 48, but I'm going to be traveling the beginning of next week, so we're going to take care of um, Monday through Wednesday now, okay? Um, Alright guys, so I just want to let you guys know, I do pre-shuffle, uh, oh my gosh, my throat chakra is all messed up. I do sage and pre-shuffle all the cards um, before I get on camera. So I know a couple of people had concerns about that because I'm doing my announcements as I'm laying out the cards. Everything has been premeditated on and shuffled before I even get on camera, okay? So um, we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera and then we're going to go over a couple of really fast announcements and then I'm going to go over the messages I picked up on your pre-shuffle, okay? All right, guys, so let's get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have today for my Scorpios for November 4th, 5th, and 6th, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my, ooh, somebody's stuck. What messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? What love messages, what clarity, clarity and guidance can we get for my Scorpios November 4th, 5th, and 6th, please, Spirit? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Scorpios? November 4th, 5th, and 6th, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what love messages, what clarity and guidance do my Scorpios need to hear today in regards to them and their person, please? November 4th, 5th, and 6th, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance in regarding love can we give to my Scorpios? November 4th, 5th, and 6th, please. Holy Spirit. Okay, guys. All right, so um, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. Uh, Scorpio, if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards and oracle cards. Winners are announced in the monthly readings. Please be sure to click that notification bell so you know for when those readings post, okay? Um, I am taking personal readings. My holiday sale has started early, so it's $10 off a 15-minute reading, $20 off a 30-minute reading, and um, I do do other readings, guys, past life readings, uh, twin flame readings, soulmate readings. You can go to my website, www.thetaroflight.com, to check out all that information, okay? All right, so let's go over the messages I picked up on your pre-shuffle. Now, the messages of the pre-shuffle may or may not resonate with the actual reading. Um, you know, it's it's meant for somebody, so I'm going to go over it, okay? So, what I'm feeling here, Scorpio, is um, you may find out that somebody is either cheating on you or lying to you. Um, and you may be walking away here, Scorpio, or you may be the one cheating and lying on somebody and walking away, okay? Um... I'm feeling, I'm definitely seeing an ending in the picture. Definitely was seeing an ending in the picture. Somebody may be cheating with an X. Um, we are in Mercury retrograde. Um, so we're going to be getting a lot of that, guys. So just be ready. So I, I feel like you may find out that your person has been talking to an X. Or you may start talking to an X, Scorpio. And um, there's definitely going to be some emotional disconnection here. Definitely some really ugly things being said. Um... Yeah, I feel emotionally you are out to move towards somebody else or your person has been talking about committing to somebody else. For a lot of you, you may be married. Um, this could be, um, you could have children together for a lot of you. Um, but there's definitely something that's about to blow up in the connection, okay? Now that may be for only one or two of you. That's the messages I picked up on the pre-shuffle, okay? Um, under the deck, we have the Lover's card. Not surprised. Gemini energy. Um, I picked up on a lot of your energy in the pre-shuffle, Scorpio. So it could be you that has this situation going on um, or your person, okay? A lot of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, the Lover's card is Gemini energy. We could be dealing with a Gemini. So Scorpio, I'm going to read you on this side, your person on this side. If it resonates vice versa, that's fine. Flip it, twist it, reverse it. It's a general reading, okay? If it doesn't resonate at all, it's not your message, okay? So Scorpio, starting with you, we have you deserve love and true love. So we have you are lovable and this is a romance of a lifetime. So maybe Scorpio, you're feeling very unappreciated in your current connection and here comes this ex and, you know, something pops off. Let's see. So we have judgment reconciliation, third party situation, the three of cups, uh, the four of pentacles, the eight of swords, and the hierophant. 
Oh boy. Scorpio. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so we have here, guys, you know, you deserve love. Okay. You do deserve love. And I feel that, you know, you may start to feel feelings towards an ex or something may be going on here because we're thinking about reconciliation here. We're thinking about wanting to go back and have a second chance with somebody from your past, somebody that you have not really let go of throughout all this time. And let's keep in mind, Scorpio, that the judgment card is all about people from your past that like the relationship is dead. I mean, look at the skeletons in this card. Okay. Somebody that, you know, like you have not spoken to in four years or more, maybe. Okay. And this may create a third party situation, guys. Okay, this may create a third party situation. Um, maybe you guys actually do meet up, reconcile, have a few drinks, okay? And this may leave the person that you're with feeling, you know, like something is happening behind their back, or it could leave you feeling like, you know, someone has you trapped in a connection. You see, like that's your captor, and you know, you may feel like now you're stuck and trapped in a connection and you want to release yourself and get out. Or you may feel, it's interesting, look at this card, this person is actually breaking this person free, they're cutting the ties. So you may feel Feel like this person is your way out Scorpio okay for a lot of you like I said you may be married we could be dealing with a Taurus here or a Sagittarius okay um, for a lot of you you may be married you may be married and um, there can be something ending here let's go ahead and clarify this a little bit guys oh boy yeah you may feel like this third party like this person is setting you free from a really bad situation why is the judgment card here please spirit We have the world. Yep, a chapter ending and something new beginning. So this is something that may have already ended, and now something new is starting here. Why is this Three of Cups here, please, Spirit? The Three of Cups. That looks like... Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. This is a very caring, kind, nurturing person, a very stable, grounded connection. Um, this could be an ex-wife, an ex-husband, the mother of your children, the father of your children. This is somebody that at one point you were very deeply committed to. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, please, Spirit? Yeah, this is somebody that doesn't that you have not really let go of. And uh, Scorpio, this is your card here. You may be, you may have children with this person once again, um, or you may be the one to actually reach out to them and say, "Hey, you know what's up?" You know what I'm saying? Why is the Eight of Swords here, please, Spirit? Yeah, we've got the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands talks about a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection, a family. So it could be someone, again, that you have children with, possibly. That doesn't mean everybody. Um, it is also an indication of building a foundation with somebody. So you may now want to build with this person, and that's a sense of freedom from whoever it is that you're trying to get away from. Why is the Hierophant here, please, Spirit? Yeah, there may be a lot of talk about getting married. There may be a lot of talk about making this a real connection, like like really moving forward. Why is the world here, please, Spirit? Yeah. This could be something that has ended, and now we've got Aries Taurus energy here. Somebody is taking control of the situation. Why is the, the Queen of Pentacles here, please, Spirit? Yeah, this person makes you very happy. We, we have Leo energy here. This person really brings out the sun. Like your life is dark right now and they are bringing in the sun. They are, they, this person is like your, your, it's the happiest card in the deck. Why is the page of cups here, please spirit? Yeah, I feel like it's going to give you a lot of anxiety because you want to reach out to this person. Or if this person reaches out to you, you're going to have a lot of anxiety because you want to hang on to this person. You don't want to let them go. Why is the Four of Wands here, please, Spirit? Oh, yeah. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This person is offering you a whole new beginning. I mean, a whole new beginning. And now you're starting to feel trapped, Scorpio. You're trying to, you're, you know, you feel like this person is going to free you from this messed up situation that you're in and you want out. Like you're starting to get aggravated. You want out of the connection that you're currently in. Why is this eight of uh, wands here, please, spirit? Yep. Justice. Justice. I feel like you may actually be either eloping or Scorpio, you may be telling your person that you want a divorce. 
So for some of you, you're eloping and running off and getting married to this third party person. Um, or you may be telling your current person, if you guys are currently married, that you want to divor divorce. Yeah. I'm seeing here under the deck, you guys are jetting off and leaving someone out in the cold, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, but you're, you're leaving somebody. You're gone. You want to go. All right. So Scorpio, for your person here, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Interesting. Now, guys, this doesn't have to be an ex, okay, by the way. Um, the judgment card could also indicate that you've judged this new person as somebody that you don't want to let go of, okay? That, that doesn't have to be an ex. It can be. It's very likely that it is. But for those of you that don't have an ex coming back into the picture, it could just be somebody that has come into your life and you've made the judgment call that you don't want to let them go. Just wanted to throw that in there. Next, okay. Now, for your person here, worth waiting for and getting to know each other. So this person... I'm feeling here like this is the new person. So this is either the ex coming back in or it's the new person coming back in. And they see that Scorpio, you are in this either marriage or in a committed relationship. You're in something that whatever this, this relationship is that you're in and they see you as worth waiting for. So they're going to take that time while they're waiting and they're getting to know you. We have the King of Cups, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We've got the Eight of Wands. We've got the Four of Wands. We've got the Tower. And we have the Hermit. Wow. Wow. This person, Scorpio, feels very deeply for you or you feel very deeply for them. But they're holding back. They're not showing all of their emotion yet, okay? There's a lot of talk here. There's a lot of talk, passion. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a lot of sex. A lot of talk, a lot of sex, because you got that eight, eight of wands here too. A lot of talk, a lot of sex about building something. And again, this could be a soulmate twin flame connection. And that is why, Scorpio, you are ready to give it all up for this person. Um, and again, this could be vice versa, okay? So there is going to be a tower moment here, Scorpio. Okay, this person is literally just waiting for this tower to fall. They're literally waiting for this tower to fall. They're waiting for the change so that something new can come in. And Scorpio, if your person, we could be dealing with a Virgo here, okay? If your person is coming off as a little withdrawn with the Hermit card, don't take it personally. They're just waiting. They're taking this time to analyze you, to get to know you, um, but they're just waiting. So let's go ahead here and see what we have going on. Why is the King of Cups here, please, Spirit? Yeah, they know that you have a lot of uh, challenges to overcome here. Okay, they know. So they're just going to wait and and so you're done doing what you got to do. Why is the four of wands here, please, spirit? Yep, they're waiting until you make a decision here and drop somebody and stop moving towards them with love. Scorpionic energy here. Um, you know, they're just waiting for you to stop, you know, going home to where you're going right now. They're literally waiting for you to just leave the person that you're with. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please, Spirit? Yeah. Knight of Swords. I feel that you're, you, you know, you're telling your person or your person is telling you, just leave. Be impulsive and just dip and just leave. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like, Scorpio, that's what your person is telling you. You know, just, just pack your shit and go. Don't even pack your shit. Just come here and we'll buy you new clothes. You know what I'm saying? Your person is communicating with you or there's a lot of fast communication about how you want to move on or they're telling you to just move on. Why is the tower card here, please? Yeah. Uh, the truth is going to come out, Scorpio. We have the page of swords here. Something is going to happen. Maybe your person is going to find something out online. Um, you know, something's going to happen here. But the truth, you're going to speak your truth. Something's going to happen. There's going to be an awakening here. And that's why the tower is going to fall. Why is this page of swords here, please, spirit? Yeah. Yeah. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So the Six of Pentacles in the upright is a third party situation. You see how this person is giving their all here and this person's being left out in the cold? In the reverse, someone here is being chosen or someone here is moving themselves out of a third party situation. Why is the Hermit here, please? Yeah, the Death card in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Um, I'm seeing here that, you know, they're withdrawing, Scorpio, because they're not seeing you leaving this person, okay? So your person 
may actually be moving away because they're not seeing you changing. They're not seeing you leaving this other third party. Why is that card in reverse here? Yeah, they're 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 not gonna they're not putting work into something that they don't know what's gonna happen here. Yeah. All right. So let's see what we have here. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So either you're going towards somebody wanting something more solid. Okay. Or somebody is coming towards you wanting something more solid. And this could also be an engagement ring for those of you who are deciding to elope. Okay. We have the chariot and that's what's that's what's crossing the situation the movement forward there's no there's no quick movement somebody wants impulsive quick movement here we have temperance and the four of swords so we have sagittarian energy here we have divine guidance we have an angel coming in um that's helping heal certain emotions scorpio so this may stop everything in its tracks okay this may stop everything in its tracks and make you sit down and think about what you're doing okay so your person here this this is the new person and i feel that you know they may be coming to the awakening that maybe you're not really going to leave like you want to leave your husband or you want to leave your wife, but you're not really going to leave. So this third party person may withdraw. Okay. And just wait for me, for you at a distance. Um, yeah, you have, oh man, Scorpio, you have a decision to make here. Okay. And Scorpio, this could be you, your person, someone here has, I mean, the sex is off the chain. Someone here is very obsessed about the other person, very strong sexual passion there. Look at that card. Okay. And a, a decision has to be made. A decision has to be made. Yeah, I feel like Scorpio, you're going to be telling someone here that, you know, it's too much with the 10 of wands. You've reached max level of completion and you can't do it anymore. Yeah, there's going to be an awakening in this commitment here. There's going to be an awakening. You're going to speak your truth about the commitment that you're in, especially if you're married, especially if you're married. And I feel that for quite a few of you, there's going to be a really nasty fight and you're going to do it. You're going to dip. You're going to leave. You're going to leave. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, don't forget we have that holiday sale, $10 off uh, a 15-minute reading, $20 off a 30-minute um, reading. And as I said, I also have other specialized readings on my website, so you can go to the description box below to check it out. Okay? Take care, guys.